So Alex, let me just summarize our discussion. A major, if not the major concern you have is the stakeholder personalities and how to convince them to get behind the plan. We need to get this project completed in five weeks. So you have two weeks to review our work before heading into the board meeting. That's it in a nutshell. Okay, let me bring this information to the team and I'll get back to you before the end of the day. Thanks, Sam. Hi team. I just got off a call with Alex at Raylonix. I want to share with you the following intelligence I've obtained on each stakeholder which should be valuable in setting our course. Alex wanted to reiterate the importance of presenting a compelling line of reasoning for our strategy to the stakeholders. I'm going to share a deck that summarizes the key players, their role at Raylonix, our assessment of their power and influence, how the new strategy impacts them, what their present standing is on the strategy, and how critical their support is in order to make this plan happen. Let's take a quick look at this together. This first chart summarizes the Raylonix executive team that we have gathered information on. At this point, there are four stakeholders who support the strategy and four who are neutral at this point about it. There are three outright negatives. In every engagement, it's important to understand who the key players are. Be sure to do your research on them before any meetings you have with the client. You'll notice on the following slides that we prioritized the need for support for each stakeholder from one to three, three being the highest. I think understanding why each stakeholder holds these positions at this point is critical. But we'll really want to focus our attention on the stakeholders who are high risk to the plan moving forward. Let's review them together briefly. For obvious reasons, Alex Mason is positive on the plan. Chairman of the board, John Stokes, was behind Alex's appointment as CEO. However, he will look to his fellow board members, particularly the cluster VPs, before casting his own vote. Alberto Sanz is an influential VP at Relonix. He's also close to Stokes. He'll take a personal hit if the plan goes through, so he's a detractor at this point. It's on us to convince him that the benefits to the company will more than compensate for the hit to his revenue stream. Bernard Larcher controls the Southeast cluster. He needs to be assured he will retain his autonomy as a VP before reconsidering his negative position on the plan. Head of HR, Hena James, is a detractor. She thinks the change management aspect of the plan has been ignored and is concerned about Alex's relationship with the board. You're already familiar with Joe Haynes, CFO. She's a close associate of Alex's, but still has her concerns about the strategy. That's why we have rated her neutral. To win her over, you'll need to pay attention to the issues she's raising, such as the legal status of the new division, where it'll be based, and the tax implications. I also just got confirmation that Alex needs this project completed in five weeks, so she has ample time to prepare for the Raylonix board meeting. So we are at the go, no go juncture. I'm going to need your assessment whether we have the resources, the time, and the financial incentive to deliver the goods. I also need to know if we can meet our margin and stay within our set budget as well. And of course, I need to know you can meet the concerns of the stakeholders outlined in the brief and convince those on the fence of the merits of the strategy. So it's time to turn your attention to preparing the proposal. If you recommend the engagement as a go, you need to include frequent check-ins with the stakeholders so you can gain their buy-in at critical points in the plan. You'll also want to include the finance approved budget that Ed sent you and the final engagement acceptance form. Go through what you already know to outline agreed services, the approach we'll take, and the resources we will use. Put this in a deck for me to review. 
got that? Any questions? Feel free to reach out to me or Ed if you need any help. Thanks team. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you put together.